Well, good evening, everybody. It's Eastern Standard Time, and Barry Fair with you in the studio on the 5th of April. Thanks for joining me on this Wednesday evening, and welcome along to you wherever you may be watching on the Northern Beaches, and uh, welcome along to the YouTube viewers, well, joining me now in the studio, good evening Rob. Good evening Barry, it's a nice warm evening, actually hot. Uh, and tonight on the show, once again we'll be talking about getting your car serviced for that all important news to break. Now, we've mentioned this on the show before, but for those of you that missed the show, here's Rob now to give you his tips on this. Yep, Barry, there's would be nothing worse than going away with your car packed up and on rail with all the holiday stuff in it, and you break down along the way because you run out of oil or your car wasn't topped up with water and... The, tyres weren't checked so um, I think it's a very smart time to uh, just drive the car down to your, your local mechanic and get him to give it the once over and prepare it for a long journey whether you go to Queensland or down the south coast or out to the west. Okay well we all know that we like to go away over the Easter break now, we mentioned something in January about using or bringing triple zero when we don't need to. So what we would like to encourage you people out there is please think clearly before you ring those three numbers because you could be putting someone a risk like my upside of Rob here or myself and here he is. Yeah look Barry I'm glad that you always talk about this because no matter what you say people still tend to do it and so we've got to be ever vigilant and constantly reminding people that it's not to be played around with that number it's for emergencies only. And if you're going to be stupid enough, well, you have to face the consequences. Because I mentioned this in a, on the program on Monday night with Olivia here. And Triple O will track down your number and the location you call from, and you will get fined. So be very careful, here's Rob now for this. Yeah, that's a good point, Barry. They will be caught because in this day and age it's not hard to trace a phone call and uh, find out who the person is that's wasting that uh, valuable time and effort of the triple O people. So um, if you're silly enough to do it, then you deserve to... you have to accept the consequences. Yeah, and... Um, so please don't ring that number, leave it alone. There are other numbers you can call, like 136 or a visiting doctor or the police hotline, but not for an ambulance. <coughs> Pardon me, so please don't be a fool and ring that number. Unless it is time critical. Here is Rob now. Yeah, that's right. It's just um, get your car serviced. Don't muck around with the triple O number. They're the things that were Barry and I are always banging on about. And we hope that it's starting to sink in, particularly with the Easter holidays fast approaching. So what else have you got for us now, Barry? Okay, yeah. well... The recipe of the, the idea of the week 
going back to the casserole video and this is a casserole favourite beef casserole mm -mm. don't you love that? absolutely Barry, beef casserole what a good autumn winter food that is and good for leftover lunch and for lunch as well and we had chicken and corn soup tonight and for dinner yum oh here's Rob for this yep chicken and corn soup and a uh, bit of garlic bread to go with it Barry it's really good soup weather at the moment so I hope you enjoy it so well, so we hope that you have a good Easter everybody and do take heed of the warnings that Rob and I have just given you and don't rush to get to your destination. Our roads are not speedways so for goodness sake you are not Peter Brock you are not a racing car driver, you are a normal Sydney driver and here's Rob for this. That's right Barry, you know, if you rush and you speed, you will um, stand a good chance of, of getting in danger of having an accident. So um, for all the time that you make up speeding, just be prepared to be that little bit slower in your journey. And if you're going to be late, be late, for goodness sake, you have plenty of time, so why waste your time by doing something stupid on those roads? We cannot say this enough on our show, and it is school holidays, so please be patient. Leave the car at home or get public transport is Rob now that's right um, public transport's improving all the time around uh, around the place I think governments have got a bit serious about it now so it's um, you don't need any cash you just need your Opal card and away you go and if you're planning on going to the Easter show please leave yourself enough time to leave early because it will get packed and here's Rob now yeah that's right Barry it's going to be you've got to I think the best thing to do is get there in the early part of the day and see as much as you can and get rolling and then try and finish up uh, by lunchtime or early afternoon and always check the weather forecast as well because it could be raining on the day so check the weather before you leave or at least the night before and work out how much it is going to cost you and your family to get in because often kids say I want to show back give me this or give me that that's just an example of a whining five-year-old there, and here's Rob now. Yeah, there's a lot of choice of uh, sample bags this year, so I think you can go online and have a look what's in all of them, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to, bit of plan, to plan that a bit so that you're not having to check them all out uh, when you're out there. So... Yeah. I think that's about it for the uh, Wednesday evening wrap, Barry. So and if you've got anything else. And the last, very last thing is the shepherd's pie recipe. What you've got to do is brown some good mints, 80% fat and 80% mints and 20% fat, sorry and then brown that off really well with some onions, garlic, minced, mixed vegetables or please get some good potatoes make sure they're not rotten before you use them 
because there's nothing worse than using rotten potatoes. Here's Rob now. That's right, you know. It's, you got to make sure you keep your potatoes fresh so that when you go to get them for a, um, a meal like that, that uh, they're ready to go. So good advice, Barry. So your food does go off, doesn't it? And, and make sure that, that you have good quality mints, like I just said. It's got to be good. And what you do next, mash the potato with butter and milk or some cream and then spread that over the top with some grated cheese and put it under the grill up until the cheese is melted and then dinner is on the table and serve that just on its own or with a side salad and that's my recipe idea for the week and thank you everybody for tuning in for this Wednesday, the 6th of April, uh, the 5th of April, sorry. And we do hope that you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining Rob and I. It's you know, just after 5 o'clock and we do hope that you'll join us again next time round and the next video will be telling you how to put the shepherd's pie together so the next video will be casserole basics yet again so so from me barry fair and rob rob doyle we wish you a very good evening and thank you for joining us. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.